In this video, we will talk about basic probability, uh, both regular probability, where we just do target over total, and conditional probability, when you are talking about the probability of something given that uh, some other information is already known. All of this will be done in the context of set theory and set notation. So, uh, you know, unions, intersections, complements, that type of thing. So looking at the first set of problems, we have 90 teenagers asked about the types of movies they like. Comedies, dramas, and action movies. We have the information here in a Venn diagram. First of all, what number should go in the question mark position right here? Well, all of the numbers in this rectangle, which represents the universe, should add up to the total number of teenagers that were surveyed. So these numbers need to all add up to 90. Um, so let's take a quick look and see. Uh, I'm going to move my calculator over a little bit. OK, so let's add all these numbers and see what we have. So in circle A, we have uh, 19 plus 9, plus 8, plus 5. OK, so that's 41 so far. So I got all of these. All right, that leaves 18, 12, and 13. Plus 18, plus 12, plus 13. Okay, so that's 84. So all of these numbers together add up to 84. Uh, but the total Venn diagram needs to add up to 90. So that means that there must be six numbers, well, six uh, people out in this part of the Venn diagram. I think I can do a slightly better job than that. Six. Okay. I'm noticing in the directions they're asking you to show work, even if it's as simple as 2 plus 2 equals 4. So, uh, you know, the work would just be showing all the addition of all these numbers. So you would have to just show 18 plus 12 plus 8, etc. Uh, and then you would take that number and then you would do. 90 minus 84, and that gives you 6. So that's the type of work that you would show. Um, but for now, let's move forward. Find the probability of the intersection of C, oh, not, not intersection. This is the union of C or D or not A. So when we're doing or problems, this is the or symbol. We just keep all of everything. Or is more, as we like to say. So if we say C or D, that means we're going to keep everything in C, everything in D, everything in, OK, let me pause there for a second. Because after that, we have not A. OK, so, so far I have, I've highlighted C or D. Now, I'm going to switch colors just so you can see uh, where I'm going with this. The not A part, OK, um, anything, of the, anything that's not in A is going to be not A. So that's 18, 12, 13. All right, those are not A, but they're already highlighted. The only other number that is not A that we haven't already highlighted is 6. So for this problem, we're going to include both of these, like the yellow stuff and the blue stuff, right? Because or is more. We keep it all. So basically, we just need to add up all of these, uh, all of these numbers. Um, so at a glance, I'm noticing that it's everything except for 19. So probably the most efficient thing to do would be to start with a total of 90. 
And the only thing that's not going to be included is, is the 19. So it's really just going to be 90 minus 19. Um, so that's going to be 71. All right, for number 18, how many people surveyed like comedies? Um, well, people that like comedies are everyone inside of this circle. So I'm talking about those four numbers. Okay, so uh, let's see, 12 plus 8, that's 20. Um, so then just adding the 18 and the 9, so that's 47. Okay, how many people surveyed don't like action movies? All right. Okay, the people who don't like action movies, that's everything outside of action movies. So the 18, the 12, the 13, and the 6. These are the people that don't like action movies. So that turns out to be 49. A person is randomly selected from this group. What is the probability that uh, he or she likes comedies given that he or she likes action movies? So notice that this is a probability. Um, they were very nice and emphasized for us on the previous problems how many, so we knew it was just a single number. But when we do probability, please remember that we are now going to do target over total, because um, that's what probability is. It's target over total. All right, but this is one, this is conditional probability. Um, that's what you uh, call it when you're given a piece of information up front. So given that he or she likes action movies, given action movies. So I'll come back and look at uh, the rest of the question, but let's start with the fact that we are given that he or she likes action movies. That shrinks the universe down. Uh, hold on, let me put that six back. That shrinks the universe down to just the circle of action movies. All right, nothing else exists because we already know that he or she likes action movies. So we will ignore everything outside of this circle. Okay? So this is what we're given. All right, this is the universe now. Okay, now, um, just to emphasize even further, I'm going to gray out these other numbers to make it clear that these numbers are no longer relevant because we're given that he or she likes action movies, so that means we are not going to use the 18, the 12, 13, none of that. Just this, these. The yellow numbers are the new universe. Okay, so um, let's add these numbers all up. If we add up um, 9, 19, 8, and 5. So that is 41. So when we do target over total, the new total is going to be 41. Now, as far as the target, um, that's the thing you're uh, finding the probability of. So what's the probability that he or she likes comedies? All right, this is the target when I say target over total. So let's look back and see um, how many people liked comedies. All right. Now I've already grayed out these other numbers, so I'm just talking about the new smaller universe. In this new smaller universe, uh, these are the only people who like comedies. I think you can see that the nine and the eight 
are still in the comedy circle. So that is 17. So out of a total of 41 um, people who like action movies, 17 like comedies. So this is the probability. Okay, and of course um, we could form this as a decimal and a percentage by doing 17 divided by 41. Okay, 0.4146, which uh, is 41.46%. So those are two other ways of writing the probability. Okay, are events C and D mutually exclusive or overlapping? All right, mutually exclusive means they're not overlapping. So looking at events C and D, you can clearly see that they are overlapping. Okay, C and D overlap right here. All right, when you have two events that are mutually exclusive, in a Venn diagram, they would be not overlapping. Okay, so here's what a Venn diagram would look like um, if you had C and D and they were mutually exclusive. Okay, so we could say C and D are overlapping events because some teenagers like comedies and drama, all right? And specifically 20. Uh, there are 20 teenagers who like comedies and drama. Okay, all right, let's do um, some more conditional probability. Um, we're finding the probability of D given C. Okay, focus on the given C part first. Okay, given C. So, because we are given C, that means the universe shrinks down to only C. So, this is my new smaller universe. Okay, only C. Um, and, and again, just to uh, really emphasize this, I'm going to gray out everything else so you can forget about these numbers. And there's supposed to be a six over there, but that's grayed out too. All right, so only the yellow is left. So that's the new total. Um, so did we calculate this before? I think we did. Remember uh, in problem number 18, how many people like comedies? That was 47. So this total is 47. So that is the new total for this probability. When we do target over total, like we always do for probability, target over total, um, the new total is going to be 47. OK. Um, now, let's, let's find the target. The target is D, the, the number of people who like dramas. OK. Now remember, don't pay attention to these numbers I grayed out. Within the yellow circle, within the given smaller universe, which of these numbers represent people who like drama? Um, the 12 and the 8. These are both within the circle D. So that's why the target is going to be 20, 12 plus 8. Okay, so that's why we will have 20 over 47 for the, this probability. Okay, now, 
decimal and percent. So 20 divided by 47, 0.4255. Okay, last. Now we're finding the probability of C given D. Okay, so now we're talking about the probability of C given D. All right, so the given has changed. Now we are given D. So that means I need to readjust my highlighting. Okay, this time we are given D. So that means circle D is my new smaller universe. Okay, so that is going to be the new, the new total. So what is this going to be? All right, so I've got 12 plus 13 plus 8 plus 5. That's 38. So that is going to be the new total. What did I say it was? 38. Okay, um, now the new target is going to be C, the people who like comedy. All right, so let's go and see how many of those people there are. Now look, remember, we are given D. We're given that it's, we're talking about people who like drama. So that means that everything else is grayed out now. So you can forget about the 18 and the 9 and the 19 and this is supposed to be a 6. Forget about all that. So when I talk about um, who likes comedy, all right, because that's the target now, we're talking about within the yellow circle who likes comedy. And the 12 and the 8, those numbers both re uh, represent people who like comedy. Uh, and that's 20. So that's why the target is going to be 20. Okay, and this is going to simplify down um, to what is this? Um, so that reduces to 10 over 19, which uh, as a decimal is uh, 0.5263, and of course as a percent is 52.63. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.